Well, today's a very hot day. We're having a heat wave in the northeast. It's probably going to be close to 100 today. So today's a good day to do a little cooking for the dogs. And today's recipe is going to be dehydrated chicken strips. When you go to the store to buy these things, many of the time they're made overseas and they're imported. And the standards in foreign countries are really not up to you know, our standards over here. So, when you make them yourself, you know what goes into it, there's no problem, and they're real easy to make. And we're going to show you how to do that today. Okay? Now, today, we have joining us Heidi, which is our technical consultant. Hi, Heidi. No. Nope. <laughs> she thinks I'm going over here. And there's my taste test of Fritz. Hey, Fritz. Fritzy. You my taste tester? Where is he? Fritzy. All right. You beat it. See? <laughs> Fritzy's a taste tester. And Heidi's our technical consultant. See? Heidi. Good girl. <laughs> Heidi's a... He's the comedian of the dog world. All right, so they're going to be assisting us today. All right? Now, please forgive the quality of the video, but I'm kind of doing this by myself. Okay, I hope this comes out good. And what we're going to do is, we're going to take the chicken breast, frozen chicken breast. Now, what I do is I leave it slightly frozen. So it's easier to cut. Okay? So let's just open this and take this out. Just to cooperate, that would be good. Now what you have here is a semi-frozen chicken breast. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut some of the fat off. Okay, we're going to just trim some of the fat. Okay. Get some of this. See some of this uh, junky stuff here. Hopefully this will be coming out good, considering I'm doing this all by myself without a cameraman. All right. Now, I'm going to take some slices here. And I'm not going to teach you how to use a knife. That you gotta kind of know, but all I gotta tell you is, be careful, because one little slip and that's the end of the chicken strips for today. You'll be sitting in the emergency room the rest of the day. But once again, this is much easier. This is what you're left with. It's semi-frozen, so it's a little easier to cut. Okay? All right. Is... your hands. Whenever you're working with chicken, remember, you got to try to keep things clean. Okay? What we're going to do is just get some basic plastic wrap. What you want to do is put the plastic wrap over the, the chicken. What you want to do is put the pound on. Just like you're making cutlets. Okay. And that's 
to get it a little bit extra thinner. chicken breast and using a, uh, a regular chicken breast you can get um, chicken cutlets. And they're a little bit thinner. So this is kind of what you're left with, the consistency. Okay? Just real thin pieces of chicken. a little colder. These are a little more frozen, so they're pieces of the chicken and throw them on there. Here's another piece. Okay. This is about the thickness that you should have. Probably about an eighth of an inch thick. Even a little bit thinner will be okay. This is about what you're looking for. Because it's going to take about six to eight hours to dehydrate this. Okay? Once again, little, little strips of chicken. Now, we're going to put this in the oven on the lowest possible setting, on warm. And we're going to leave it, like I said, for about six to eight hours. Okay? Never wash your hands all the time. Use an antibacterial soap if you can. And use it also on your cutting surfaces and your utensils. But once again, this is kind of what you're left with. Okay? So we're going to put this in the oven at warm for the next six to eight hours. And then we'll show you what we're left with. And we'll have our taste test of Fritz sample the uh, wares. <laughs> 